There are a number of reasons. I think the, the one significant factor for the living collection is that we have a climate that suits the cultivation of these plants from the high mountains of the Himalaya and the Sino-Himalaya and elsewhere in the world and also under our in our glass houses as well. Coupled with the scientific research that the garden has been undertaking for over 100 years, plus our strong connections with particular plant collectors over a long period of time. When we look at how many actual rhododendrons there are that have been discovered so far, there's over a thousand. The Virea rhododendrons make up about a third of that group and within the Virea rhododendrons we have about 70% of all known species here at the garden. I think to have this diversity of plant material, it's created an amazing scientific resource and it, it, the Virea rhododendron collection is used on a worldwide scale for research. He was the Indiana Jones of his day. We should be particularly proud that he was a Scotsman, particularly proud that he mounted or was involved in seven expeditions to really what was then quite a remote part of southwest China, Yunnan province. And his very first trip was almost the trip that was his undoing. He was chased by Tibetans and he was very lucky to escape with his life. There is a very strong connection between the herbarium and the garden. We do have uh, specimens, some of which uh, I have been involved with through my travels, and the, co the combination of those and plants in the garden is absolutely crucial to the research that we do. Lillian Snelling really was a remarkable woman. She managed to do the job of really bringing to life these rhododendrons which were being brought into the country for the first time. Scientific plates which explain a lot, everything, about that particular rhododendron. Flower from the front, side, the back, the flower spread out, you have the male part, you have the female. Microscopic details which really important to be able to help the scientists identify exactly which rhododendron it is. There's a real beauty in many of the pieces. Um, the red rhododendrons, this one's Arboreum from Nepal, it's, it has such a vibrancy, that red, it's, it's really difficult to paint that colour. So three-dimensional, beautiful. Our work in China is a very good example of our global outreach and some of the training that we're undertaking overseas in terms of capacity building is very important and very relevant to some of the challenges that mankind faces in the 21st century. <laughs>